if I let it take its course on Let me cross you up, it's almost time to say it loud Last summer I was just another person in the crowd Now I'm losing sight of greatness and I'm laughing while they hating There's no need to chase the crown cause it's already been taken Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, your AKA the King of Boston, and today we have episode 23 of the Tennessee Titans Connected Career Mode. This is going to be the off-season video part one. I think these are gonna, this off, or excuse me, I think this off-season video is probably gonna be in two parts because I'm live commentating it and I'm gonna show you the entire thing. But I'll put them up in like consecutive days so you guys won't miss out on anything. And you can see here it's gonna be Eagles Jets in the Super Bowl, and we're gonna advance week and see who won. And this is the first time I've ever done an off season in a connected careers. I think I did one in an online one that we were just like simming through me and my uh, friend Jake. But, you know, I, mean, I wasn't really taking that too seriously. So this will be like my first serious one. And, oh, it looks like Charles Woodson's retiring. And I want to see on the Super Bowl mainly. Let's see. Rondé Barber. Oh, okay. I, don't know, I thought he retired for a sec. Sorry if my voice sounds a little groggy. It's uh, early in the morning, but I apologize. Uh, Kurt Warner is coming back, so that's interesting to see who signs him. And, God, who won the Super Bowl? Seriously. But bring on the endorsements for the Jets MVP, Mark Sanchez. The Jets won the Super Bowl. Wow. Okay. Well, so much for realism. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go to the re-sign players. And I think we have a lot of people to re-sign, actually. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, we have, we have some. Right, we definitely want Dave Ball back. So let's enter negoci negotiations. Uh, he wants 2.31 mil a year. That's definitely fair. Oh, it's way more than we gave him. Uh, we'll give him 2.4 and submit that offer. He's good for three years. <clears throat> uh, and then I think next up is Sean Merriman or Owen Schmidt. Oh, no, Sean Merriman. Uh, Sean Merriman was a great backup for us this year. I would like to only sign him for one or two years. He wants four. Well, all right, let's offer him two. He wants. Two. We'll offer him two. I'm not giving him more than Dave Ball, so we'll give him two for two point four. And see if he likes that. If he doesn't, then he, I might let him go to free agency. Even though he's Sean Merriman, he's nasty. But anyway, Owen Schmidt, I believe. Yep, Owen Schmidt is definitely the guy that we want. He's definitely a good fullback, and uh. We'll give him two years, 8.5, or 85K, 850K. I just can't talk right now. And then, what else? Is Leroy Harris not available, I guess. Yeah, neither is Javon Ringer. I believe I sent Javon Ringer. Um, I kind of let him walk, so he'll probably go into free agency. I'd like to get a, a bit, uh, you know, another backup, but just to switch things up. Zach Dials only wants uh, 89, 890K, so that's fine by me. He's been great for us. He's also nice and young, and we can develop him hopefully into a starting caliber, you know, middle linebacker. Uh, this guy, I can never remember his name. It's like Francisco Velasco. We are letting him walk because he's terrible. And, uh, yeah, uh, this is our backup strong safety. He's from Oregon, so I'll try to get him 7-4K. We'll give him 8. Mm, we'll give him 750. I'm fine by that. He was actually good. I think he had a couple interceptions in the year, so he was pretty good for a 73 overall. Um, all right, and I think I'm going to cut cut out the rest of these until I'm done, and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. All right, so we're back, and I, I let a couple of these uh, guys in the bottom just, you know, let them walk or whatever because I do want to... Uh, you know, just change up the team a little bit. All right, so we didn't get Sean Merriman. We got Dave Ball. We didn't get Zach Dials. All right, so we need to get Zach Dials. If we ha if we have to, we could franchise tag him, but he's really not that good to be franchise tagged. So we're going to... Oh, wait. Oh, we can't? Fuck. Uh, I don't want to franchise tag him because he's going to get a lot of money, and we don't have too much cap room left. So I guess we're going to have to let him walk. And uh, see if we can try to get him in free agency. So advancing the week. And anyway, hopefully you guys will like this uh, live commentary off season. But all right, free agent time. Let's do this. All right. So it looks like ooh ooh. Sorry, we got some we got some good uh good uh, you know good free agents. I'll try to get a uh, what's his name? It's not oh it's E J Henderson. Okay. Yeah, he does not that want that much for an 89 overall, and I know he's old, 
but three years isn't going to kill us, so we'll give him 5.2 million, and we'll give him a big bonus, because the bonuses actually help our cap room, I think, which is weird. I've never understood that, but <clears throat> maybe, I don't know. All right, yeah, and <laughs> I want to say Tim Howard so bad. I, I feel bad that I don't know any of these guys, but obviously no Reggie Bush. I'm so tempted to get Reggie Bush just because of, you know why, if you've been on my channel for a while. Ooh, Patrick Chung's really good. I like, I like he's, a, he's a nice tackling strong safety, which would be good on our team. Malcolm Floyd's, ooh, you know, they're really good players. There's some really good players here. Uh, I'm always up for offensive linemen, so let's see what Craig Urbic wants. It's 2.8 million, I'll give you 3 million for four years. Yeah, you're pretty young, so... Um, he fits good in our scheme. He's not very interested, but hopefully our contract will help him out and get interested. Um, I don't want Casey Hampton. And what position is Howard anyway? Does, oh, right outside linebacker. Uh, I don't really think I need a linebacker. So Reggie Bush, I don't need. Sorry, everybody. Nate Clements, I could definitely use. Although he wants a lot of money. So I'm not sure if we can really afford that. So we might have to look at lower tier uh, defensive backs. And I think I'm set with, uh, you know, f f temporarily for the guys that we have. Kurt Warner wants a ton of money. <laughs> we have to get Randy Moss. Randy Moss is one of my favorite players of all time. Not because he was on the Patriots. You're getting a one-year deal, sorry. Um, actually, you'll get a two-year deal. Not because he was one of my favorite players in the Patriots. Just because he's Randy Moss and he's so cool. All right, so we have to offer Randy Moss a contract. We scouted them as like a very high overall, but I don't think that's really what his overall is, but that's all right. And then some lower tier guys. Uh, we let a couple backup offensive linemen go, so we're probably going to... Actually, there's like multiple days of this, right? Can you uh, advance week? Yeah. I think you can. I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I hope we didn't just make a mistake, but whatever. Just trying to prove. Okay, uh, we have more scouting actually. All right, well let's uh, let's try and save up our scouting for a second. Just wait till we have at the end, and then uh, I'll probably cut that out for you guys. But anyway, um, all right, we'll go to. I think we need a backup left guard, so we could go. I don't really want to go higher than a 75 overall. It's something cheap. This guy's pretty cheap. Yeah, we'll go with this guy. His name like Otis or something? Yeah, Otis. I knew it was Otis Hudson. I'm nasty. All right, so straight one year deal. And uh, we need a backup defensive. We need like a fourth or fifth defensive back, I think. So I always love signing defensive backs in this game because there's actually a lot of really bad ones that I like, uh, such as Dominic Rogers Camardi. He's not that bad, but uh, Kyle Arrington's terrible on the Red Sox. Not I just said the Red Sox on the Patriots. Kyle Arrington's absolutely terrible. I'm looking for like, ooh, that's not, is that Antonio Smith or Alfonso Smith? I might have to get Alfonso Smith. He's one of my favorite players just because he was nasty way for us. Yeah, it is Alfonso Smith. All right, I'm probably getting Alfonso Smith then. Uh, does it really have to reset every damn time? Um, I like AJ Jefferson too. He's pretty good. Uh, oh, what's his first name? I can't remember first names. This is ridiculous i'm usually pretty good about remembering names adam pacman jones who we did let uh walk we only sent him to a one-year deal this year so might try to get him back darius butler the former patriots jacob lacy that's the guy we let go like richard moten i think his name is uh and yeah some other cool guys so i think we're gonna try and get who is that sterling sterling more patriots hero casey's vaughn He's a like, second-year guy. Would be going into his third year in this connected careers. Oh, Sam Shields is nasty too. All right, it's between Sam Shields and Alfonso Smith. I think I'm gonna get Sam Shields because he's. I'll, I'll try to get both. Sam Shields wants a lot more money though, so I don't know. Might just stick with uh, Alfonso Smith because Sam Shields wants a lot of money, and I don't want to give him that kind of money. All right, so we'll go with Alfonso Smith. He doesn't want nearly as much. He still wants a lot, but he's Alfonso Smith, so, you know, he deserves it. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, and we're going to advance week and just uh, see if we get any accepted offers or anything like that, because I'd like to 
try to see who we can get, who we can get, who we can get, who we can't get, and you know if we can't get some big names, we'll need to go for lower tier guys at the same position. And I believe you need five thousand or ten thousand to scout overalls because I want to end up eventually scouting. You know who it is, Pooh Carlson's. Uh, I want to scout his overall. Oh, he's gone up to the ninth. Oh, that's not good. It's gonna be tough to get now because he's so good. Uh, was it 5,000 or 10,000? It's 10,000. I don't know if we'll ever get there. Ooh, it's going to be a tough pick to trade up for. Oh, no. I was hoping he'd be mid first round, but he's turned up to a high first round. I think I do want to get him because I think it would spice up the series a lot and it'd be very interesting. But anyway, uh, what else do we need? We need a third string quarterback, too, because I let Dennis Dixon go. Cause I like switching up my third string quarterbacks because I like getting really big busts like Brady Quinn or like, I don't know. Dennis Dixon does not deserve that much money. I mean, we might as well get someone pretty bad, because I don't want to spend too much money on these guys. Uh, Max Hall is an option. GJ Kenny. I wish I'd used the rosters when they added uh, Jordan. Not Jordan Jefferson. I think Jordan Jefferson's nasty. Jacoby Harris. He's nasty. Kellen Moore. You know what? We're going to get Kellen Moore. Shout out to my boy Burns. Big Boise State fan. We're going to sign Kelly, Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore is going to take this, because Kellen Moore is not going to get another contract offer. Um, alright, let's check our free agent offers, actually, and look at my negotiations, alright, Keith Urbix, we're gonna outbid on, alright, we need, we need Keith Urbix, he's nasty, uh, we're gonna increase the offer to 3.5 million, let's see where that gets us, so go back to my negotiations, what, what are the Bengals even offering him? Is that four years, fourteen million a year? Okay, I'll make my final offer at. I'll make my final because he's really good and he's really young. So I'm gonna make my final offer at four point eight million. With that much of a signing bonus, but I'm not going anything over this because he's just like you know he's 95 overall. I mean, yeah, that's good. But oh my god, what did they offer him? I don't even know what they offered him. Whatever. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're going to try and go get some more offensive linemen. I'm going to look at a few more offensive linemen, and then uh, I'll probably just you know start cutting through some more of this. But anyway, uh, we would like some nice young guys because we do have a few veterans on the team. I'm probably going to end up drafting a couple you know, young guys for our offensive line. Oh, Calais, is that, that's not Calais Campbell, what am I saying? I'm an idiot. But anyway, this is just offensive line, so I think I'm going to cut this out until uh, I finish this part. So, we'll be right back. Alright, we're back, and I honestly don't even know who he signed, but I see EJ Henderson there, that's good. We got Keith, or Craig Urbeck, I was calling him Keith, we got Randy Moss, he's nasty. Um, did we get anyone else? We got Ryan Cook, the backup center I wanted. We didn't re-sign Leroy Harris, which really sucks. But we got Alfonso Smith. And I think that's it for new guys. We Okay, I'm really glad we got uh, Randy Moss, though, because we need another wide receiver. Because if you look, um, you know, after Nate Washington, it's a huge drop-off to Kendall Wright, who's, you know, he's, he, performed, he performed really well, but he's still not that high of an overall. So we have four really great wide receivers, and Damian Williams is just a shit eater. So I'm probably gonna try and trade him. But anyway, so we're gonna keep advancing the week until I think we hit the NFL draft. Oh, here's the free agency recap. So uh, we really need an offensive line. I don't think we have a starting left guard though. So maybe if we can find a left guard in the second round, that'd be nice. Cause if we trade that first rounder for Pooh Carlson. Then uh, we're going to need to, you know, do the stuff and the stuff. But I don't think we have too much cap room either, which doesn't excite me. We only have 3.84 million. So, yeah, that really does not excite me. Uh, these guys are still available. That's ooh, that's interesting, actually. Um, Donovan McNabb. Why would Donovan McNabb want 5.4 million? I guess he came back out of retirement, though. But anyway, is it Delaney Walker? Delaney Walker's not terrible. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to get into the NFL draft. And oh boy, are we going to be able to draft Pooh Carlson? Um, trade up. All right, make an offer. 
We want to get to like the. Oh, I don't want to trade it for the Dolphins pick. Well, if we could, that'd be awesome, but. I want to trade up to the. How do I. See, this is stupid. Honestly. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to. Advance the next pick. All right, so I'm gonna cut this until uh, I'm up to the point where I'm trading for to try and get Pooh Carlson. Fuck that! The Rams took him second overall. Oh my goodness! Whatever. Skip Bayless, shut up. <laughs> oh man! Shit! I really wanted them. Is there any way I can, like, trade for him? Wait, no. Alright, I'll try to trade for him after the draft, but we're going to advance to our next user pick. At this point, I don't give a shit. There weren't any other high first-rounders that I really wanted. So, let's make our pick. God, that sucks, though. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Um, ooh, we have this right tight. We might get this guy. 96 production. 21. We didn't scout him at all, but he's a projected 11th pick, so. We could also go with a, a defensive back, which we could use. But I think we're going to go with Darnell Williams, because we could, we could use use him. So, yeah, we're going to go with Darnell Williams. All right. So we got a high, pretty high, pretty high, uh, hopefully pretty high offensive lineman. And we're going to advance to the next, well, no, wait, advance to the next user pick. And I can't remember, I think we lost like a fourth rounder in this, which isn't that good. But anyway, uh, let's make our pick. Select player. Dun, da, da, da. And, ooh, this, we still have the first rounders left on the board. So this is pretty good. I'm going to take one of these guys. Uh, neither of them are scouted. They're the same height, except this one's from Kansas State. This one's from Rice. So I guess I'll take my chances on getting Nate Burkett, even though Quan Edwards, that's pretty cool. Uh, he's a higher production grade, so... Yeah, I guess we'll get uh, we'll, we'll get Quan or not, not we'll get Nate Burkett Burchett. Um, unless we have any of these guys scouted, which I don't think we do. No, we don't. Or this guy's speed isn't a Jaquan Calendar, but I bet he'll fall a little bit. I think because seems like defensive backs are falling in this draft. Uh, Quan Edwards sounds much cooler. You know what? Fuck it. We're getting Quan Edwards. He sounds much cooler. Quan. Quan. All right, advance to. Ugh, I always do that. All right, Anthony Gainer just got picked. I think that's the guy with the A speed. Whatever. Way to really shake things up with that pick Titans hashtag. Not you know, Skip Bills. Just go away. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh. Okay. So make our pick. Let's see what we do here. Uh, could always go for some offensive lineman, maybe a, a wide receiver. Oh, this is Jaquan Calendar. This is the guy with the A speed. All right, I'm probably taking him then. Uh, I feel like changing some of these guys' names just for the hell of it. Making them Ibrahim Moises or something. I think we're going to get Jaquan Calendar. Uh, Darius Harris does not really jump out at me with the six foot three height. I like my wide receivers that I draft who I don't know anything about. I like them to be pretty tall. So we're going to draft Jaquan Calendar. I know this has been a pretty boring draft. Pretty much has gone with the best overall guy like three times now. But we'll start spicing it up. We need offensive linemen. Um, we could use a backup tight end. All right, advance to the next teaser pick. Craig Stevens is terrible. Uh, yeah, I think we skip round four maybe. Because, oh no, we do have a fourth round pick. Um, let's see what anyone's saying about us. Call me again when this draft gets interesting. All right. Pooh Carlson getting picked second overall wasn't interesting or anything. Um, all right. We only have minute 15. I know you can, like, pause it, but that's that's cheesy, yo. We don't do this legit. Uh, we use a backup running back because I don't think we got one in free agency. So let's look at running backs that we scouted, if any. Uh, all right. Looks like we didn't scout too many except these guys all have D-strength. Uh, C trucking because I was looking at backup running backs who could like be good power backs kind of replace Toby Gerhardt because Toby Gerhardt's not getting the job done but uh, who's, who's a big guy I think the biggest guy here is two, oh, here's 229 
All right, we might look at this guy, Tyre, Tyre Lee, Tyre Lee. I don't know how much time we have left, but probably not that much. Look at left guards quickly. All right, we're gonna go with that running back, Tyre Lee. Philadelphia, you are now on the clock. All right, that's good by me. And then we're advancing to the fifth round. Next user pick. Jalen Harvey. I don't know who Jalen Harvey is, but I've seen his name pop up a few times. Titan select in the fourth round. Free fall. Mm. All right. Uh, let's look at backup tight ends, possibly. And then we'll probably focus on defense for the rest of the draft. Um, yeah. All right. Let's look at tight ends. I don't know if we scouted any tight ends. Uh, actually, these tight ends don't look like... Don't look like uh, they're gonna be take, be taken anytime soon. Oh, it's the fifth round, and they're they're six rounders, so maybe we should take one of these guys. I don't know. They're both six foot five, which is awesome. I love me some six foot five tight ends. I think we're gonna take who's who's a cooler name? Da Daniel Clug? No, Zach McLean. Zach McCain. Much cooler name. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the defensive side of the ball. I'm good on our defensive line, really our front seven I'm pretty good with, especially after we signed EJ Henderson, so I'm going to be looking probably at a safety, maybe. And it looks like we didn't have a six-round pick, so seventh rounder. So good thing we took that tight end. So let's look at safeties, maybe. We could use a safety, or if we find a kicker, just for the hell of it, because who doesn't like drafting a kicker in the seventh round? WT Polk. I wish we could scout kick power right now. That'd be really nice. Whatever. I'll probably go undrafted anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, all right. No safeties left, I guess. No strong safeties either. All right. I guess we could look at another defensive back. Ed Edgerton Buck. Buck blah, 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 blah. Um, any linebackers I could use? You know, I can always use a bit of linebacker depth. Markeith Middlebrooks. Might get him just because of his name. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to get Markeith Middlebrooks. All right, and that will pretty much wrap up our draft. He was one of the last picks in the draft. And we're just going to uh, simulate the rest of the draft to next user pick, which should end it off. And I think we have to sign all these guys, which I hope we have the freaking cap room to do, which I don't know if we do. But anyway, maybe we can delegate this. It'll do us. It'll do it for us. That'd be nice. I want Carlson, though. Um, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have this much cap room, so this is not good. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll trade a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're already, they're already signed, right? What do I have to do? View player card? They're like... What is this? Is this the draft recap? Like, I can't sign these guys. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, I guess we're going to advance week... And that brings us to the preseason. So maybe I will put this all in one part. I'm not sure. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. So anyway, uh, we're just going to quickly get a look at the new team. Make sure we signed our rookies. Because I'm a little bit concerned we just didn't sign our rookies. They didn't give me the option to, though. So maybe they did. I didn't have the cap room. I mean, I, I definitely did. But Aaron <laughs> Aaron is on the trade block. Wow. Um, and I received an offer for Toby Gerhardt. Yeah, let's see what offer we got for him. Carolina's two picks, four, a fourth and a seventh. Uh, let's look at Tier Henderson and see what uh, what his overall is or what how he's doing. <laughs> what his overall is? What am I saying? All right, Tyler Tyler Lee. Did I say Tier Henderson? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, 95 speed. Uh, I would like it. I like, I like Toby Gerhardt as our power back, but he really isn't that good. So maybe we'll try out. I don't know. Well, we might come back to that offer. So it looks like Ricky's got signed. That's good. And I'm going to probably end off the video here, but uh, I might come back and look at some trade offers. But presumably, let's presume that I'm going to end off the video here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As well as out. Peace. And like I said, I might be back. I got. Who Carlson, a second and a fifth rounder. That's a pretty good deal, I think. I know I I don't I'm not really in favor of giving up draft picks, but you know, we just did, and we got Pooh Carlson. 
So I think what's going to happen now is there's going to be a pretty big quarterback battle in Tennessee. I'm um, going to try and trade Matt Hasselbeck, probably. But, um, and the winner of this quarterback battle is going to start for us, and the loser is probably going to get traded. We'll try to get some picks back. But, wow, we just got Pucaros in the man we wanted all along. And, yeah, so I'm pretty excited for that. So that's going to wrap this off-season video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And those out. Peace.